illegal immigrants are killing thousands of people. It happened just recently in California, yeah. where a, a veteran, a 66-year-old veteran, female, raped, killed, and sodomized by an illegal immigrant. Right. It's, it's so out of control. Donald Trump on Fox News earlier this week, he says the illegal immigration crime rate is out of control in this country. So while Mr. Trump hopes to alleviate our immigration problems as the next president of the United States, one group is trying to take action right now. The Arizona Border Recon is a border patrol organization that uses ex-military personnel to prevent illegals from coming through our poorest southern border. I spoke with the group's founder, Tim Foley, earlier this week and asked him why he thinks it is so important to control our border. If you want to have a country, uh, we have to do something. And my uh, reasoning behind it is if you want something done wrong, get the government to do it. And they're doing it all wrong. They're trying to fight both the war on drugs and the war on terror, which is coming together right here on the border with a shift mentality. And you can't fight a war with a shift mentality. You have to be here 24-7, and that's what we're doing. I would imagine there might be two different, distinctly different responses you might get from Border Patrol or ICE agents, and that's, they might be saying, hey, you guys are helping us out, or they might look at you suspiciously. Which one is it? Uh, the line agents uh, are perfectly okay with what we do. Uh, we're an extra set of eyes and ears for them. We provide them uh, real time intelligence but as soon as you get above the uh, field grade uh, agents into the bureaucracy yeah. they're the ones who say you know we don't want you we don't need you we don't but they're not the ones who are on the ground they're the ones who are behind the desk uh real quickly one last thing we want to talk about what kind of challenges your men are facing out there or maybe women too who are out there helping you patrol the border uh the areas we go uh, there are no fences uh like the media shows uh, there are no media fences out there and the terrain is uh, very hostile and so the tougher the terrain uh, the more they come through in those areas all right well now it's time for the way you see it our comments via social media first we hear from andrew who says this about the Democrats' renewed calls for gun control in the wake of the latest terror attack. He wrote, he writes, rather, the world around us has changed. We envision ourselves as powerful and omnipotent. The shattering of that belief usually results in calls for gun control. We need to be careful about letting the pendulum swing too far to the either side and come together as a country of citizens to defend our way of life and at the same time protect the freedoms of others. Here, here to that. And this from Bonita, who writes in about what she wants to hear from the 2016 candidates. Every Republican presidential hopeful should emphasize the fact that radical Islamic terrorists are actively uh, attacking America because our current president chooses to ignore and deny these acts of violence are perpetrated by this group. I have not been a Jeb supporter, but he has been speaking out the loudest and the longest. Certainly, he is to be respected for that. Thanks so much for being with us. Always a pleasure. And, of course, you can always write in. You can reach us uh, at NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. Always love hearing from you guys. It's been a real pleasure sitting in here for part of this week for J.D. Hayworth. Don't worry, he will be back here on Monday, and we look forward to having him back as well. I'm John Bachman. You can catch me on Newsmax now every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Have a wonderful weekend.